Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Daisy Midgley will have an unwelcome surprise in forthcoming scenes when her mother, Christina Boyd, comes to the cobbles. Christina was last seen late last year when she decided to assist Daisy hide her romance with Ryan Connor from her fans Daniel Osborne, a secret that eventually leaked. In scenes that will appear on Wednesday, March 27, Christina makes arrangements to return to Daisy, texting her daughter to let her know she would be staying for two weeks. Daisy and her stepmother Jenny Connor are outraged, since they have been pretending that Christina lent them the money to buy the rover's return in order to conceal the reality that they used the money stolen from Carla Barlow by Stephen Reed. Ryan is taken aback when he witnesses Daisy telling her mother that she is not wanted at the pub and suggests that she go visit her friend in Amsterdam instead. Christina eventually shows up at the rovers, stating that her passport has expired and she has no other place to stay. Ryan encourages that she stay and have a drink, unintentionally putting his foot in it by saying that it's the least they can do after lending Daisy and Jenny so much money. Unaware Christina is attracted by his statements, is she going to reveal Daisy and Jenny's cover? Daisy's actress, Charlotte Jordan, has already indicated that her character is terrified of being discovered for lying, albeit she does not necessarily feel terrible about how she has used the stolen money. Daisy sees the money as Stephen's money rather than Carla's. Otherwise, it's a little too personal and close to home, she observed, adding, she believes he was a nasty guy who didn't deserve it in the first place, and Daisy can put it to good use, which would ultimately benefit both herself and the society. Following the end of Steve McDonald's marriage to Tracy, Coronation Street has introduced a possible new love interest. The couple split up in recent weeks after she had an affair with Tommy Orpington, but Steve attempted to reconcile after it was revealed that Tommy was about to relocate to Spain. Tracy insisted that their relationship was over. But things may be looking up for Steve in scenes appearing on Wednesday, March 27 and Friday, March 29 when he tries his hand at matchmaking. His week begins when he confides in David that he is depressed over the lack of engagement in his online dating profile. Debbie, on the other hand, offers some friendly advice, suggesting that he attend a cocktail night at the Chariot Square Hotel to get back into the dating scene. Steve agrees to the proposition, but is astonished to find that Ken will also be present. Debbie delivers Steve and Ken a new round of drinks, compliments of Elspeth, Helen Leder's guest role, who has apparently had her eye on Ken the entire evening. Steve tries to disguise his displeasure at being outdone by Ken, but gives dating another shot when he attends a speed dating night at the Rovers. Naturally, he meets Tracy, and the two make their affections known to one another as they excitedly await the next round of dates, which provides an opportunity for Steve. At the next turn, he strikes up a conversation with Cassie and recommends they meet for another drink. Are things looking up for Steve, and how will Tracy respond to the latest development? Damon Hay from Coronation Street will be caught out for his lies next week as he continues to deceive girlfriend Sarah Barlow about his recent agreement with his half-brother Harvey Gaskell. Viewers have recently witnessed Damon grudgingly accept to participate in a robbery for Harvey after Harvey threatened Sarah's life, despite Damon's previous pledge to Sarah that he had abandoned a life of crime. Damon eventually requested a part of the income from the illegal employment before assuring Sarah that they can afford to buy their dream home together, albeit he kept the source of his unexpected financial influx hidden. Sarah's son Harry's birthday is on Monday, March 25, and new scenes will appear. Harry accepts Damon's present of a new VR headset and offers him a hug. Damon apologizes again for being unable to attend Harry's birthday celebration, concealing the truth that he would be absent due to his involvement in the hidden robbery. When Sarah later chats with Ed Bailey about the job he is doing for Damon, she realizes that her Damon colleague be has able been to talk to himself out of this situation. If not, might this be the end of Sarah and Damon's relationship? Tana O'Brien, who plays Sarah, stated in a February interview that she is really worried about the future of her character's relationship with Damon, given his dark past. I do truly believe that Damon's got her best interests at heart, she went on to say. I believe he means what he says to her, but unfortunately with the life he's led and the people that he knows, the temptations to get involved in something dodgy could be too great. 
Next week on Coronation Street, Roy Cropper's sleepwalking issue will be brought up, causing anxiety among his loved ones. Roy is currently the primary suspect in Lauren Bolton's disappearance, which has escalated into a murder inquiry. Lauren's old boss had fired her for stealing money from Bethany Platt's bag, and he was the last person to see her safe and well. Roy just cleaned her abandoned flat as a courtesy for Evelyn Plummer, who was subletting it to Lauren. But Bobby Crawford caught him and suspected he was cleaning a crime scene. He later reported his worries to the police, who confirmed his suspicions when they discovered traces of blood and human tissue on the flat's drapes. As a result, Roy was detained on suspicion of murder and questioned by Detective Sergeant Swain before being granted bail. Roy's fate is now unknown, and he is also the focus of online trolls who believe he is responsible for Lauren's reported death. Things will heat up when Roy's niece Nana Lucas arrives at the cafe on Monday, March 25, and discovers a burning pan on the stove. Roy realizes he must have been sleepwalking again due to his concern with being accused of killing Lauren and tells Nina that it would not happen again. Roy's sleepwalking has been a long-running theme on the program, and he has struggled with it during tough moments in his life, such as the funerals of his father and mother, as well as prior to a major operation last year. He informs his solicitor, D.D. Bailey, that he is willing to pay whatever amount to help clear his record. Nana subsequently tells D.D. that she is concerned about Roy's sleepwalking and how he would pay his legal fees if his case proceeds to court. How will Roy manage to get out of this mess? New Coronation Street scenes will have Paul Foreman receiving life-changing news. The ITV1 soap is setting up sad scenes for Paul as Summer Spellman prepares to leave Weatherfield to study overseas for a time. Billy announces that he will prepare a large roast supper to send Summer off in style. At the same time, Paul notices he is having difficulty eating, so his mother, Bernie Winter, accompany him to an appointment with his speech therapist. During this meeting, the therapist informs Paul that the advancement of his motor neurone disease, MND, is having an impact on his speech and ability to eat solid foods. When Paul's therapist proposes that he utilize a feeding tube, he must consider a significant life change. Back at home, Paul assures Billy and Bernie that he is all right as long as they can liquidate his food in the future. It's later time for Summer's farewell dinner, and the family is seated for a lavish feast prepared by Billy. Paul attempts to keep up appearances, but seeing his pureed bowl of food brings him to tears. Billy will discuss his fears for Paul in scenes airing this week on Coronation Street, leading up to these heartbreaking moments. Summer tries to help Billy accept the reality that Paul's speech is worsening, but Paul insists that Summer not delay her vacation to America for him. Coronation Street has been working on Paul's plot with the MND Association, which works to improve access to care, research, and advocacy for those affected by motor neurone disease. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.